Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Hyatt Buick GMC in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I'm getting ready to show you a 2015 GMC Acadia Denali. Now, this one is stunning in the white diamond color and all the accents this vehicle has with the 3D grill, among others. The Denali package really adds quite a distinct look. I mean, this really stands out from the other uh, Acadias um, that I've seen. But, um, and check out those wheels. You've got the chrome clad wheels, the chrome handles, and that white diamond, I don't know if you can tell in the sun, it is a pearl coat color, so it really um, pops out at you. It's not just a regular white color. So as you can see here, it has the 20 inch wheels, 20 inch chrome clad wheels, and um, it, it, it fits nicely on this vehicle. And 20 inch wheels on an Acadia, it just makes it, like I said, the Denali package, everything's about, everything about it really just kind of pops out at you. And here in the front, it does have the projector tubes with HID headlights. You also have the projector fog lights as well. You also have a, uh, an LED accent around the headlights that kind of give it a real distinct look at night. That three-dimensional grill, that's what really caught my eye. I was walking through the lot and I was like, I wanna, I wanna check out Acadia. And then when I saw this one, I was like, wait a minute, what is this? And, and I looked on the side and it said Denali. So that's what really made me choose this particular vehicle out of all the other ones. So one of the features this vehicle has is remote start. So the, it does have a key fob like here with a key. And the key fob has the ability to open up the, the lift gate in the back, lock and unlock the doors. So you just have to make sure the doors are locked by pushing the lock button. Immediately after that push and hold the remote start button will start up the, the vehicle. So now I can unlock the doors like so. So let's start here on the passenger side. This has the interior and uh, interior cocoa and dune is the interior colors. It is two-tone. You see it has a, a brown and a, um, and a tan there. Cocoa and dune. You also have some white stitching around there as well. Premium Bose sound system. You got your cup holder there. You also have some wood grain embellishments around the door. Power seat with lumbar adjustments. And the seats are heated and cooled here in the front with the perforations there and really comfortable uh, leather seats. See, it has the white stitching on the cocoa color here on the dash, and then got a massive uh, glove compartment there, which already has stuff in it. Got a cool little storage pocket down here, it's real uh, good place to put maybe a cell phone or something like that out of the way. Got the Denali threshold badge. quickly show you the if you can read it the window sticker and this one does have the 3.6 liter v6 it's a 288 horsepower vvt engine that uh that gets you off the line quick it gets you out in traffic it's smooth on the highway and gets you good gas mileage so you can see the back door is not skimping on quality you do have a bottle holder down here as well as there in the door you've got your Denali threshold badge there now you do have captain's chairs here in the in the second row and these are adjustable forward and back you can also fold them down flat like so in case you want to um, you know you need to use some cargo space those seats will also fold down flat now you can access the third row between those seats but you can also um, use, do this number here and it kind of sandwiches up the seat like so. It's where you can enter your third row seat. 
and you see it has cup holders and storage pockets there and and the, uh, the third row seats are pretty adequate you can see three you've got vents here on the top you got lighting you also have a this is a this is a dual pane you have a sunroof in the front and the back you also have the shade put the seat back just by pushing it back and then pushing that down it's a little bit easier doing it with two hands and you can move the seat forward and backward using this button here like so all right so here's the back of the vehicle and you can notice it has the uh, dual exhaust and you can see it has the the chrome tips around the exhaust ports there it also has the backup parking sensors that's those little circles there they're sensing behind the vehicle as you're backing up and it will alert you if you get too close to something and maybe you can tell the diamond coating the white diamond pearl coat in the paint now when the sun's directly shining on it that's where it comes to life it also has a backup camera you can see that the lens right there so here is the key again and I'm going to use this button here to open up the tailgate which will automatically lift up for you which I think is a pretty cool feature so now you can go back here and you can put your stuff in here you can also put stuff in there and you can put these seats down if you wanted to um, just by pulling that pushing it down um, now that seat needs to be a slightly more forward for it to go all the way flat but it will go all the way flat and um, you can lift it back up using this strap another thing that's interesting about the Denali package um, in the Acadia is the uh, the ability to adjust the radio from back here you do have the volume button here your source you can choose the stations or the CD track um, back here so I guess like say if you're hanging out behind the vehicle with the tailgate open, you can um, you know play the music and listen to it um, back here remotely. It does have a power supply here in the very back right there, 12 volt, and you can have place tie down places here. It's like say if you wanted to put a cargo net or something like that. Now to lower the tailgate, you can push this button here, or you can use the the key fob like I did before. But you can also just push this button and it will lower by itself. Here's the fuel door on the, on the driver's side, which is very convenient. This opens up by pushing it in. Also, when you undo the cap, it does have this, uh, like a plastic strap here, and you see that. And this will, you can hang that right here to where it hangs away from the vehicle and doesn't scratch your white diamond paint. another perspective on this side now back here you also have the ability to adjust um, your radio also plug in devices and play music through a port like a auxiliary input there and um, down here you have let me go ahead and sit in here because I want to a few more things I need to show you so like you're back here and um, you're on a trip or something, you can play music, but you can also play a video through this Panasonic um, screen here. This is a, a rear entertainment system, and uh, so you can play music. It's not on right now because I had the remote start is how I started the vehicle, but and also there's no disc playing. But um, but you can you have that screen so that the second and third row uh, passengers can watch a movie or something on a long trip. And um, you can also plug in stuff. Besides putting a DVD in the system up there, you can also plug in uh, some kind of device here to play it through um, those RCA, those AV uh, inputs there. There is an Edison plug back here. So you can plug in like, like a house plug, plug in the things to charge it, like say a laptop or um, you know something that's under 150 watts. But you also have a 12 volt plug in there. And these are 
USB chargers. They're not for playing any music or anything, only for charging devices there. So you have a lot of different things you can do uh, back here in, in the for the backseat drivers um, to keep them occupied on long trips especially. So um, that's that and of course you got the sunroof that you with the shade. And wow look at there when the light hits that wood it really stands out. Isn't that cool? Alright. This one does have the blind spot detector system here. Uh, that's a little indicator of if there's somebody in your blind spot that'll illuminate on your on your side mirror and uh, let you know, especially if you put your turn signal on, that there's somebody there. So here's the uh, inside of the driver's door and you've got the premium bow sound system badge there. You've got the bottle holder, but you also have your door lock controls, your power window controls, and the ability to turn off the rear windows. Also, your side mirror controls, uh, you can adjust them. You just gotta choose which side you want. So basically, you choose the side and then you can adjust them there. You also have two presets here for the power seat. And you also have an exit mode there, which will get the seat out of your way so you can um, exit the vehicle easier. Right here is an automatic headlight system. You have the automatic mode, um, off mode. Also, you can put your parking lights or your headlights, pushing it in turns on the uh, fog lights. You do have a dimmer switch, and you also have an ambient light. At nighttime, you'll see that there's ambient light in this vehicle, basically soft light that's around the floorboards and in the doors in different places that looks awesome. So, um, so you have the ability to adjust that as well as the interior gauge lights. You do have a power tilt and telescoping steering column here so let me go ahead and hop in and since I used a remote start I still have to like I showed you before um, there's the key fob but also there's a key you still have to put the key in the ignition and turn it on and I did it a second too early now I gotta restart it up the reason why I said that is because the, the remote start will only stay running for a certain amount of time. So it just happened to turn off right when I was getting ready to turn it on. So um, anyways, now it started and you can, you can hear the fans going and it's trying to cool the cabin for me because it is a warm day. So let me turn the fan down slightly. Turn the music down, fan down a little bit. I'm going to leave it on a little bit because it is cold. I mean, it is hot. so. Need, some, need to turn on the cool seats, get comfortable. And I'll tell you what, these seats are very comfortable. It's really easing my back right now. But here on the steering wheel, it, um, it does have a hand-stitched leather steering wheel. Also, a wood grain, uh, wood here, um, portion at the top and the bottom. So basically, on the steering wheel, it is a kind of a thinner steering wheel than some. And, um, but the, the where the wood is, it looks like it would be slippery, but it's really catchy and grabby. It's where you can get a really good grip on it, and um, it's pretty comfortable as well. Your cruise control settings are on the left side of the steering wheel. You just have to make sure the uh, you turn them on, and you see a little indicator light. And then you can set it and resume it and cancel it. This is not this right here is separate. That's your heated steering wheel. That's what that button is for. So that's not part of your cruise control. So you push that, and I'll tell you what, in the winter time, it's amazing how much that, that heated steering wheel makes you feel much better um, when your hands are on something warm versus a freezing cold steering wheel when you first get in the car when it's frigid outside. All right, so the right side of the steering wheel, you have um, your a volume control. So you got these buttons here to adjust the volume. And you also have um, the ability to change the source like say AM, FM, satellite radio. Also you can change through um, you know tracks and stuff. Also this is a voice recognition uh, button here that you can also send and receive uh, phone calls with too. So that's what that button's for. There's your gauge cluster and you do have the RPMs, the speedometer, the gas gauge, 
uh, you've got the um, the temperature there and the voltage on the right and it says like a right a, a red light um, kind of accenting the um, the gauges which I think is pretty look, looks pretty cool especially at nighttime all right so let's move over here to the center stack and it's one thing it has this storage park park pocket up there uh, compartment and it's kind of up here and you kind of have to reach up there and it's got some depth to it but I'm curious as to what people use that for um, it is an area where it would get very hot so I'm not sure what that's actually used for maybe you can explain it to me <laughs> all right so the center stack starts off with the CD player and you also have an auxiliary input there and this is a touch screen here and you it has some so like so you can push the menu button there it also has some buttons on the side now these are buttons that are kind of like a touch screen in a way too where you just push them you don't actually push them you just touch them so touching the house there takes me to the home screen and so so right now I can click now playing like whatever's on the radio I can go to the navigation screen and tell a link there and see where I'm at and and put in a specific address if I wanted to. I'm going to go back home and the address can be put in in the destination screen. You can also pair your phone there and once your phone's paired, uh, which one's not paired now so it's not coming up, but once it's paired you can find go into your contacts, your phone book, your recent calls, the stuff like that um, that's really useful. Also you can see what the weather is all about. Um, it's letting me know right now that it's fair, 84 degrees out, that kind of stuff. Uh, traffic, you can get the traffic info information um, based on, you know, like you can put in a specific street or by distance. And of course, you can change the, the audio tone. And there's a bunch of settings as far as, you know, setting up the screen. And there's our quick buttons here on the side. We do have a volume control here, tune through the stations there. Now, these buttons right here correspond with up here where the odometer is um, I'm gonna push this button here and show you kind of cycle through there um, so you can see there's lots of different settings you can go in and change So I'm going to exit that, but you can see it has quite a few little uh, options that you can go into even further and adjust if you really wanted to. Now it does have a lane departure system, and you can see it, uh, this little button here, you can turn that off if you wanted to, or on. Um, now if you turn it on, if you leave it on, it keeps an eye on the, it has like a sensor there or, or camera that looks at the lines on the road and if you're swerving out of your line or whatever, or out of your lane, it'll alert you. Now, there's another feature called um, crash alert or um, I think it's called crash alert. But anyways, it, this one right here, basically it will alert you if you're approaching a vehicle or something in front of you too rapidly and you can adjust that. Um, you know you push that button and you can it's called collision alert so I'm gonna push that you can change it to far medium or near or you can turn it off completely um, I will start off with far and see what happens um, depending on your traffic conditions you can you know it's probably the safest uh, setting so here's your climate control it is a dual zone so you've got your driver and your passenger adjustments there and um, you can sync both of them by pushing that button. And once, it, see where it says sync. Now, if you want to unsync it, it's as easy as just changing the passenger side, and it unsyncs it, and that way the passenger can do their thing. So basically, uh, you can set it to automatic, set the temperature, and let it go, or you can fine tune the where you want the air to blow. Say I want the air to go here, so now the air is going to go there. Um, you have rear defroster, front defroster. You also have the air conditioning and the recirculate the air now that's only the recirculating the air is um, helps in two ways one it recirculates the same air so it's constantly cooling the same air so it gets colder but also it avoids uh, outside air from getting in the vehicle especially if there's smoke or some kind of outside odor you can just turn that on and it keeps that from coming in the vehicle 
So there's a couple things there. Um, so I've got the cooled seat on now. You can see I got it on full blast. There's also a heated portion of that seat. And um, basically when you're pushing these buttons, you can push it at one time, it goes full blast. Push it again, it goes medium and then low. Same thing with the heat. And uh, this right here is your, basically you can open up the tailgate or you can completely turn it off to where you, um, that, that function is not available. Trailer tow, um, once you have a towing package installed on this vehicle, you can push that button to let the vehicle know that you are towing something. Um, the trash control, you can turn that off if you need to, like if you're stuck or something, you need to rock the vehicle. Um, there's the rear wipers there and the washers. Now here's the shifter. It is a leather up stitched with some wood grain there um, shifter. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in reverse just so you can see. You notice the door's locked, but also the backup camera pops up, pops up here, and it will. The parking sensors are also now active. So you see those lines there. Um, they will move when you turn the steering wheel, like I'm doing. You see how they move, and they tell you tell you an estimated trajectory of the vehicle when you back up. Also, it gives you an estimated width of the vehicle because it is a, a wide angle lens back there, so the things are a little bit distorted looking. So it gives you, a, you know, kind of helps you um, guide yourself as you're backing up. And uh, so I would definitely um, use it as a guide, but not, you know, 100% up, just like put it in reverse and floor it using the screen. I would still look at the mirrors and look out the vehicle as well. Um, it is just a guide. Now you notice it shows the bumper all the way to the sky so you have a really good it is a good safety feature as far as avoiding hitting things because you'll be able to see what's back there especially if it starts beeping you can really pay attention so moving it down to drive is right there you also have the ability to put it down in a low range um, so that way you can um, if you're going on a hill or something you can do that to uh, use more engine braking but also you have these buttons here to uh, change through the gears and this is this is if you needed to adjust the shift points for a certain reason now here is a USB port for playing music through the sound system or charging you also have a little pocket there 12 volt power supply there and the cup holders are here and look at that wood grain it just really stands out to me especially when the light hit it earlier so this armrest moves out of the way so you can access these pockets here and these these little this tray actually comes out and you got a big storage area with a power supply in there and uh, it's going to get cluttered so just warning you and of course this closes up to where you don't have to worry about that, looking at that and you can put the armrest back forward if you want and this armrest will um, open up and you got a little storage pocket there Alright, so here's the rear view mirror, and it is a uh, place where the OnStar buttons are, and uh, let's see if that'll show you. You also have an emergency button, plus a, um, like an assistance button there, and this button here is to turn on and off the uh, auto dim rear view mirror. So like, say if somebody's behind you with high beams on, uh, this will like, automatically dim because there's a slight sensor here and it will automatically sense the light and automatically dim the rear view mirror to avoid blinding you. So up here you got your garage door controls here, you got tap lights like so, you also have the ability to open and tilt your uh, sunroof here in the front, there's the shade, and we'll go ahead and open it up so you can get an idea of how big it is and everything. And you can just close it up and avoid having any sun coming in the vehicle if you want. There's the microphone for the Bluetooth system. That's where you actually talk into. I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pick up your voice, basically, while you're talking. And there is your mirror with lights and the visor. You also have that in the same, same thing on the other side. Let's take a look at the interior here.
All right, let's take a look under the hood and check out that 3.6 liter. All right, there it is, covered up in plastic. <laughs> but you don't have to worry about it. accessing anything here. Um, these are very reliable vehicles, and you know, you get your oil changed, and um, you should be good to go. Now it's a 3.6 liter VVT, 288 horsepower. It is a direct inje injection system, to where it injects the fuel into the engine at 3,000 pounds so basically uh, when it when it basically squirts the uh, the oil the, the gas in there it's similar to like a perfume bottle it atomizes the the fuel very well so it can burn completely that's kind of a, a simple explanation there but, um, but anyways these are very good engines and they uh, GMC puts them in a lot of you know they're different vehicles so anyways 2015 GMC Acadia Denali if you have any questions let me know in the comments and I'd really appreciate your support if you can help me out I'd appreciate it and uh, also if you can share like subscribe to this video subscribe to my channel like the video and um, and also thank you for watching thank you for Hyatt Buick GMC here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina for allowing me to show, show you this awesome vehicle. Alright, thanks for watching. See you next time.